That being said, AI code assistants, I think, do have tremendous value in these two constrained spaces. One, if you're learning a new language, just trying to understand the syntax, or you're a new coder, you you never coded before, they could be a great tutor. They could be fantastic to help you learn the structure, learn the syntax, learn the language, all of that stuff. And so using them for learning a new language, learning the syntax and the structure, I think can be tremendously valuable. On top of that, I think that they can also be very, very useful for low fidelity, prototypical generation. You have this cool idea and you're not sure if it will work or not. And so you'll use the code gen system to be like, hey, help me figure this thing out. And you'll whip up a prototype and that'll be great because you can validate the idea. However, using them for production quality code, which is a completely different space. This is like a, this is a no-op. This is, it's a non-starter. The idea of using this thing that is generating stuff that's like highly bogus and stuff that just like you can look at and quickly say, yeah, this is not going to stand to any kind of expert level scrutiny this and and maybe in the future it will but today we're not there